It's the way you take me up from down And place my feet on solid ground Hey girl, welcome to my channel if you're new and welcome back if you're not new. My name is Cynthia and on this channel I teach women how to become women of substance in Christ. If you're interested in content that has to do with lifestyle, self-development, emotional healing and things like that, then this is the channel for you. So go ahead and subscribe. I want to talk to you ladies today about the topic of late blooming. Now, I recently discovered this this concept and I'm like I need to come and talk to the becomers about this because there are women who feel like they are behind in life just because they haven't accomplished certain things by now that society said that they should accomplish right and so let me give you guys the actual definition of late blooming for those of you who don't know let's see okay mm. Ooh. Because I'm going to tell y'all why this is not in alignment with the word of God. A late bloomer, this is just a Google search. A late bloomer is a person who fulfills their potential later than expected. They often have talents that, are, that aren't visible to others initially. Yes, there are cases in which you knew what God called you to do, but you yourself got in the way. Does that make sense? Like you delayed yourself. OK, so, for example, if the Lord told you to start a cooking business, you have the gift of cooking. You know how to throw the spices together and cook the dish and da 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 da. And people have affirmed you and you know, it's God. Right. And God has told you this is something that my spirit is on. My spirit is brooding on this. Go forth. But you keep delaying. You keep getting in your own way. You keep, I already talked to y'all about self-sabotage, so we're not even going to go back to that. But you keep holding yourself back. You keep, um, you're just being slothful. Okay, let's just call it what it is. You're being lazy and you're not acting upon what the Lord has called you. So year after year after year after year, you're watching other people that have started um, with you now um go before you right they're now in front of you they've now exceeded you and they they have grown their businesses have grown right and so that is not God's fault <laughs> like I just want y'all to know that's not God's fault like that God has literally given you the blueprint God has li literally given you the A-OK -okay. he's literally said go forth I've blessed you in this but you you have been sitting on the very thing God told you and so then you're like I don't know. I'm just going to use a random age 50 You're 50 years old. And then at that point, you're like, OK, God, I'm ready. In that case, you would be considered a late bloomer because you did not act on the very thing God told you to in your youth when you could have been building and building and building and establishing yourself so that when the time of harvest came, you could actually be resting. Right. Ecclesiastes 11 verse 4 says that if you wait for the proper time to plant, you will never plant. So like this is not the time to just wait around and say like, oh, like, don't worry, like I'll wait till the sun, you know, is out before I can plant my my tree or whatever. I'm just throwing things out there. If you keep waiting, if you keep waiting until you get to a certain age or you get certain things or whatever, and God has told you go forth and you keep waiting for the perfect condition or the ideal condition, you're never going to do it because you're always going to look for a reason not to go forth. So that's category one. This is for the people who God has called them to do something. You're the reason why you have become a late bloomer, essentially. And then for the second category, this is for the people, the group of people who you are considered a late bloomer because God simply has you on a different path. So let me just use this for example. So for example, um, you are a girl who is in a group of other girls. You guys are in high school. You grew up in high school together. Um, and then let's just say it's three of them. And then you're the fourth girl. So three of them, you guys graduate high school, go to college. Three of them, they go to this. They all go to the same college. They let's just say they meet their husbands in college they get pregnant at the same time they have their children they launch their businesses and they go forth right god might have specifically designed and orchestrated their path to be like that but you on the other hand that's not the path god had you on and so because of that you've so then so then let's just say 10 years go by and their kids are 10 years old now like practically preteens um and they are 
working on their third child now and they're looking at other business ventures to get into with their spouse you know just things like that like they have progressed like their kids have now grown up and you're still where you're at in society standards you would be considered a late bloomer because technically you all grew up together and went through the same seasons together and so you should have what they have but see, in the kingdom, things don't work that way. The Bible says in Ecclesiastes 3 verse 1 that God makes everything beautiful in his time. So there's a time for everything under heaven. Society may make you feel like you're a late bloomer because you did not um, bloom when everyone else bloomed. And so their kids are like 10 years plus and you're just getting married. You know what I mean? And you're just starting out your family and you're just trying for a kid, right? Let me tell you, all these concepts that we've made, go ahead and throw it in the trash. All these man-made concepts, especially if they're not rooted in the word of God, throw it in the trash, throw it away. Because if God has not said that about you, it's not who you are. It's not it. It is not it, okay? I'm going to link a video that I watched um, not that long ago about... Um, this group of women that were talking about the same exact thing right but they were talking about marriage in this case and so i just really want to encourage you i say all that to say that it's important for you to be connected to god so that you know exactly what your case is and why you're in the space that you're in for some of you like i said you're in, you fall in category one you yourself have not done what god has asked you to do and so now you end up becoming a late bloomer just because you delayed yourself and then in the category two people these are for the people who god has you in that path for a reason right he, he didn't call you to go be with keep up with the joneses and do what they do and he calls you to do your own thing in his own time and he'll make it beautiful there's a reason for that and so if you if you sulk in it if you mope in it if you if you curse the season and you you, you know then you miss it like you miss the whole point of it right and so it, there it, like god god is sovereign i was just reminded of the sovereignty of god today in church he's sovereign he knows exactly what he's doing he's literally all knowing all seeing all powerful and so while you may be sulking and like moping like oh god why me what was me god is like girl like i'm looking at your end from your beginning i see where you're gonna i'm see where you're headed i see when the breakthrough is gonna come it's not supposed to happen right now because there's something that I need for you to learn and pick up in this season. I need something to be developed in you in this season that the other three girls did not need. Right. And so I just want to encourage you. I want to lift that burden off of you because like, stop, chill out. You're going to bloom. OK. And for some of you, thank you, Holy Spirit. You're already blooming right now. But because you're not blooming the way that other people are blooming, you are counting yourself out you're counting your season out you're saying well there nothing is happening for me because it doesn't look like them no something is happening for you ask the lord to open your eyes to see because there is provision right where you're at the lord is doing something right where you're at but you need to see Under